Well, it's a wake up call nobody wants to get. The sound of a car crashing into your home. But that's exactly what happened to a woman living in southwest Detroit early this morning. Our Kim DeGiulio has a look at what happened and the one other thing that driver hit that makes this especially hard on her. Damaging the front of this house is one thing, but ruining the ramp the homeowner uses to get in and out of their own home has left this homeowner heartbroken. I heard by seven o'clock, I think it was about a boom. I saw went boom, it shook the whole house. I was upstairs. Deborah Haynes Knott was home alone after her husband had left for work. She looked outside her window when she heard the driver. I hear him screaming and cussing and jumping out the car and beating the car and walking back and forth and staggering and I, I was like, oh, he, oh God, he's gonna kill me, this man, because I didn't, I don't know what's wrong with them. I didn't know what to think. I thought somebody was coming in on me because I'm handicapped, you know, so I just started crying. Before police arrived, the driver of the vehicle ran away, leaving his car and all of the damage he did to this home. <laughs> including Deborah's only way to exit her house. He told my whole ramp roof. down, the roof falling. I got to get out of here. I don't know what I'm going to do. That's what my, my way of getting back and forth in the house. Now as cleanup crews pick up the pieces, police are searching for the driver that did this to her home. It's not right to, to tear somebody home up and just leave. If he would have stayed and just tried to say sorry, I try to help. That would have made me feel better. Deborah says for now her husband will be able to help her get in and out of the house, but until this ramp is fixed, leaving on her own is not an option. Reporting in Southwest Detroit, I'm Kim DeGiulio, Local 4.